Hello and good evening and welcome to another episode of Reading Rainbow. I'm your host, Randall Fields, and today we're going to be doing something special. Um, we're not going to be using the screen today. What we're going to be doing is um, Brain Quest. And I don't know if you know it, but... Um, Brain Quest is very interesting. As you can see, I will ask you a bunch of questions and then I will give you a few seconds or several seconds to try to answer the question. And then if you can answer the question, um, it's good for you. And then I will give you the answer after a little while. So I'm experimenting with this. If you like it, just let me know in the in the comment section. So this is going to be part one. I'm sure there are several parts because uh, Brain Quest has more than 15. Uh, this one has more than 1,500 questions and answers. This is meant for ages 10 to 11 for the fifth graders, but I think adults can listen in also, especially those who are not native uh, English speakers or those who maybe are uh, studying for um to get their citizenship american citizenship or uh, maybe uk citizenship these questions are actually good to know okay <clears throat> so this is called brain quest 1500 questions and answers challenging uh, the mind. So let's begin with the first question. Turn the word ring into a kind of smile by moving the letter G. So I'm going to read that again. Turn the word ring into a kind of smile by moving the letter G. So I'll give you a, a couple of seconds. Okay. You have a lot of things here. Okay. So the the answer is grin, G-R-I-N, because you move the letter G from the word ring, like R-I-N-G, and you moved it, the letter G, to right make another word that has to do with something like smiling. Okay, here's question two. Was George Washington a Republican? A Democrat or neither one? So the question again, was George Washington a Republican, a Democrat, or neither one? The answer is neither one republicans and democrats did not yet exist well i didn't know that one what what's it called in bowling when you knock down all 10 pins at once what's it called in bowling, when you knock down all 10 pins at once. I think that's an easy one. The answer is a strike. A strike. How many watts are used during one kilowatt hour? 
How many watts are used during one kilowatt hour? And the answer to that is um, 1,000. Okay, 1,000. What is the decimal value of two fifths? What is the decimal value of two fifths? And the answer to that question is point four. Point four. I'm actually very bad at math. I don't know. Which city is the capital of Montana? Topeka? Helena? Or Honolulu? Which city is the capital of Montana? Topeka? Helena or Honolulu? I think that this one might have been an easy one. And the answer is uh, Helena, right? We know by process of elimination that it is not Honolulu because everybody and their mother knows that Honolulu is the capital of Hawaii and Topeka is the capital of Kansas. I do believe. Add a suffix to the word help to make a word that means useful. Add a suffix to the word help to make a word that means useful. And the answer to that is helpful. That one was an easy one, I think. Name the time period in which glaciers covered most of the earth. Name the time period in which glaciers covered most of the earth. The Ice Age. And the answer to that is the Ice Age. Okay. Which plant has spines? A rose or a cactus? Which plant has spines? A rose or a cactus? A cactus. A rose has thorns. To send an email, what symbol do you type before the don domain name? To send an email, what symbol do you type before a domain name. Uh, this one shows you, but it's the, it's the at symbol. I don't know if you can see that. It's on a way on the bottom. The at symbol. All right. 
Here's another question. I can't believe my dog ate my homework. Is this sentence in first or third person? I can't believe my dog ate my homework. Is this sentence in first or third person? Okay, the answer in first person. That was an easy one, I think. In what year did the United States celebrate its 200th birthday? In what year did the United States celebrate its 200th birthday? The answer to that question is... 1970, oops, 1976, sorry about that. I was thinking about when the birth of, the, of our nation. Um, 1976. So 1976. In what language is shalom used as a greeting and farewell? In what language is shalom used as a greeting and a farewell? We would say Hebrew. 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 You can catch color blindness from a color blind person. True or false? You can catch color blindness from a color blind person. True or false? False. Color blindness is inherited. Give the next number in this pattern. One, six, two, seven, three. And then I will say it again. Give the next number in this pattern. One, six, two. Seven, three. I will give you maybe 30 seconds. I think you need some time to think. Okay, give the next number in this pattern. One, six, two, seven, three. And the answer is eight. Add five, subtract four. That is the pattern. It's eight. Add five, subtract four. What kind of water is most common on earth? Salt water or fresh water? And the answer to that is uh, salt water. 
about 97% of the water on Earth is in our oceans. As thin as paper. Is this an example of a metaphor or a simile? As thin as paper. Is this an example of a metaphor or a simile? The answer is a simile. A comparison using like or as. Simile. Who settled in Canada first, the English or the French? Who settled in Canada first, the English or the French? And the answer to that is the French. That's why so many people speak French in Canada, most likely. What layer of the atmosphere has been partially destroyed by certain chemicals? What layer of the atmosphere has been partly destroyed by certain chemicals. The ozone layer. And the answer to that is the ozone layer. You just got an amazing new HD TV. What does the HD stand for? I think that's an easy enough one. And the answer to that is high definition. High definition. And hi-fi, I think, would be, if you say hi-fi, it's high fidelity. Find the prepositions in this sentence. I jogged beside the lake after school. I jogged beside the lake after school. The answers are beside and after. Okay, I'm going to read one more column then. What primary color did British loyalists wear in the Revolutionary War? What primary color did British loyalists wear in the Revolutionary War. And the answer to that is red, which is why they were called the Redcoats. What legendary English hero stole from the rich and gave to the poor? Uh, very easy. What legendary English hero stole from the rich and gave to the poor? And this would be Robin Hood. Robin Hood, right? What kind of scientist studies atomic energy and radioactive fallout? What kind of scientist studies atomic energy 
and radioactive fallout. Radioactive fallout, something like Chernobyl or in Russia. Uh, the answer is a nuclear physicist. A nuclear physicist. Okay. What is the sum of the interior angles of any triangle? What is the sum of the interior angles of any triangle? The answer is 180 degrees. The answer is 180 degrees. It's noon in New York City. What time is it in San Francisco? It's noon in New York City. What time is it in San Francisco? I'm going to guess without looking. Uh, hmm. I always thought that San Francisco, Los Angeles area is is five hours back. Wouldn't it be like 7 a.m. in San Francisco? I'm not sure. But let's see. Oh, no, I was wrong by a long shot. It's 9 a.m. So it's 9 a.m. So it's a, a three-hour difference. What prefix turns the word light into an adjective meaning not light? What prefix turns the word light into an adjective meaning not liked? The answer is dis, D-I-S, disliked. D-I-S, disliked. Which of these was not a southern colony? Virginia, New York, or Georgia? Oh, this one's very easy, right? Uh, which of these was not a southern colony? Virginia, New York, or Georgia? And, of course, the answer would be New York, right? Right, New York. If a cloud looks like a fluffy cotton tail bunny, is it a nimbus, a cumulus, or a stratus? I already forgot about the clouds. We, we're going to be reading that on the next time. Um, if a cloud looks like a fluffy cotton tail bunny, is it a nimbus, a cumulus, or a stratus? And the answer is cumulus. The Incas built the great city of Machu Picchu. In what country are its remains? The Incas built the great city of Machu Picchu. In what country are its remains? And the answer would be Peru. And this will conclude... Uh, our reading reading today of Brain Quest Level Five, you know, and this can be for adults also, you know, if if you have you're practicing ESL, um, also if you're these kind of questions are very helpful when you are applying for citizenship in the United States. Okay. Um, so, 
Yes, if you like this, please um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like it, just give me a comment and I'll, I can do more. I'll probably be doing um, a part two, whether you comment or not, because I don't have so many subscribers that are dedicated yet. So I'll probably just keep doing it just to do it, you know. Um, yeah. And here's another one. So there's like 1,500 questions and answers. So I think it just means there's like 700 questions because they're concluding, including the answers, I think. What's, uh, 750? Yeah, 750 questions might be in this, these two things together. Okay, so see you. <laughs> Goodbye and good night. <laughs>